Hey guys, so I'm just going to show you how I've done this look. So I'm using the soap brow technique as always. I like this fluffy big eyebrow look on myself. So I'm taking a spoolie and I've went into a little clear bar of soap that you would use to wash your hands. Rub the spoolie back and forward on this hard bar of soap with a little bit of setting spray on your brush. And just br brush your brows up and you'll see the difference from my first brow to my second. It just thickens them up and makes them look way fuller. So that's the kind of style I like for mine. I know it's a more acquired taste, but I think it gives a really nice look to the brows. And just press them down onto the skin so they stick and stay in place all day. Then carving the brows out, I'm using concealer and a little thin brush. Just going right under the brows, covers any wee stray hairs, and then pull it down onto your lid. This will just make your shadow stick and be more pigmented. And I'm doing a week of colour, so this is going to be my pink look. So this means that it's really important to kind of put down a base so that your colour sticks and it's as pigmented as possible. Just blend that out with a fluffy brush and make sure that the edges are all smooth and there's no harsh lines. So just taking a wee bit of brow promade and I'm just drawing little sharp kind of strikes into my eyebrows to look like little hairs. I start in the middle of my brow and in the arch and then just whatever's left on the brush I pull through the front of my brow. But I really do not need to fill mine in much. I literally spend seconds just putting a wee hair here or there into wee sparse bits of my brow. But I'm very fortunate that I have the big monster brows that I do. <laughs> So I'm using the Ben Nye Pressed Colour Palette. I've used it for every single look this week with my Coloured Look Week. And they're so pigmented and creamy and amazing. So I'm going in with a lighter pink shade. And I'm putting it into my crease with a fluffy brush, just moving it back and forward. And when I get to the outer corner, I'm sweeping it outwards to kind of make a more winged effect. Instead of it stopping quite blunt, it looks more faded out. Just try and do that to the next eye as well and just copy the shape that you've created. Just go back in with more colour when you feel like you need to deepen up the colour. If when you've blended, you've blended out too much of the colour and it's more diffused. Now going in with the darker pink colour in the palette, I'm using a smaller crease brush and going in a wee bit lower than the first colour so you can notice the difference in the two shades. So just working that into my crease and blending it out following the shape that I've made and again going in with the lighter colour if you need to or the previous brush to blend it out if you feel like it's a bit too dark and you can use your finger in the outer corner just to sweep away excess product to give that winged look. And again, do the same to the next eye. Just follow what you've done in the first eye. So I'm going to use some concealer now and I'm cutting my crease. So you want a really thin circle brush and you want to take a little bit of concealer and just work it into your crease and be really precise and just take your time with it and follow around your eye socket and then wing it out just so that you have that nice shape. You want to do this with a fast drying concealer, not like a tacky, kind of sticky, creamy concealer because you want it to dry pretty much instantly so that it doesn't smudge or crease. Now I'm taking a white MAC pigment and I've put a wee bit of setting spray in it so it turns creamy and I'm just gliding it onto my eye as if it's like a paint. It's really smooth and creamy once you put a bit of setting spray into the MAC pigments and just gliding it on and following that shape so it's super white. Just be really careful and just try and be as accurate as possible. And do the same to the next eye. 
So I'm going to in and out and do my liner and I'm just going to follow the shape that I've made and follow up to the wing. I've kind of made it easier for myself just following that kind of template rather than having to freehand the wing. So just do a nice thick black liner. I use um, felt tips on myself like um, this is the Revolution Pro Tip um, liner but it is honestly amazing and so precise you don't need much of it and it does most of the work for you because of the shape of the brush. Once you've got a wing that you're happy with, I'm then taking a wee bit of liquid liner and putting on a really fine thin brush and just dotting it on to where I want it and kind of making those wee shapes because I'm doing a cow print on my eye. I'm just directly going in with the actual liquid liner pen now that I've actually created the wee shapes that I want just to darken them up a bit. And putting a cold pencil underneath my eye and just smudging it out so it's really nice and smoky and I added a wee bit of pink and purple shadow underneath my eye too. And just popping my lashes on, I use a big massive... Um, book that comes from Wish which is a very cheap app and it's got great lashes on it and I swear by them I can pop the link in if I can find them again but they're very affordable and just add some mascara on and don't forget to do your bottom lashes and mascara is really important if you're wearing fake lashes because it binds the two lashes together. Now just spraying a wee bit of setting spray onto my face and I'm going to go in with my foundation I absolutely love the Milani foundation, that's what I use. It's very full coverage, it's a concealer and foundation in one. And I always start at the lower half of my face and blend it down my neck so it matches in with my tan that I put on my body. And then take the other product left on the brush or on my hand and work it up my face. But the most product you need is on your cheeks and chin and in my forehead and nose is teensy and just left, use what's left on the brush on those areas. Why I spray my face before putting this foundation on is it's a really, really good way to blend the foundation easier. So because it's such a thick consistency and very full coverage, it can dry quite quick and be quite hard to blend if you're not used to it. So adding just a little bit of setting spray before using this foundation or any full coverage foundation just helps you blend it and gives you a more dewy kind of glowy skin and it doesn't take away the full coverage. Now going in with my concealer and I'm just popping it under my eyes, nose, chin and head just to contour my face a little bit. I'm just going to take a wee small concealer blending brush and blend under my eyes first quickly so that it doesn't stay stark white. Then leave the rest of the product on my face and blend that out last with a foundation brush. I go in with the foundation brush on these areas just so that it's not too dark and stark white in the middle of my face so that the foundation left in that brush will mix in with the concealer to make it more natural looking. Now going in with translucent powder and I'm putting it directly under my eyes so none of the foundation and concealer creases under my eyes as that's the bit that kind of moves the most when you smile. And then just take the rest of the excess on that brush and drag it all over your face and down your neck to set everything in place and make sure that any excess shine is just disappeared. Now I'm going to go in with my bronzer and I'm working that into my cheek and just giving my face a bit more of warmth and also making more definition in my cheeks. At this point, I spray my face again. That just makes everything melt and not be as powdery. <laughs> Highlighter on. So the setting spray allows the powder to melt into the foundation so it doesn't look as powdery and cakey. And then the highlighter sticks right onto the setting spray and makes your skin look more glowy. Then I'm just popping a wee bit of blush on to mix in the highlighter and the bronzer so it doesn't look too shiny. Now I'm going in with a wee liner and lip lining my lips. Now I'm going in with my liquid lipstick and just drawing in my lips. 
And if you want to darken up the edges, this is a wee trick. Just get your contour shade that you contour your cheeks with and put it around your lips. It'll make your lips look bigger and it'll also mattify the lipstick so it won't budge and it'll last longer throughout the day. And it just takes any wee shine off and just makes your liquid lipstick matte more quicker. Take a wee concealer brush and just tidy up any edges of your lip. And that's you. I hope you liked the look. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.